Qualcomm Technologies offers a Type 1 hypervisor which enables platform virtualization. We will discuss it further in detail. Qualcomm Processor Security provides the Qualcomm Type 1 hypervisor which offers flexible and trusted virtual machine environments separate from Qualcomm TE and high-level OS. Qualcomm Type 1 hypervisor supports multi-core high-level OS independent real-time operations. It can host multiple trusted VMs which in turn can host any operating system of choice be it Linux, Android or any other OS. These VMs can interface with each other as well as establish protected communication with Qualcomm TE for key management and other TE services. Let's get into the details of Qualcomm TE. The Qualcomm TE utilizes Qualcomm Technologies, Hardware Firewall and Qualcomm Platform Security Foundations rooted in hardware. Various security sensitive use cases are developed on Qualcomm TE where it is trusted to protect high value assets and facilitate security sensitive operations. Such use cases include key management, cipher operations, storage security, payment credentials, device attestation, eSIM, biometric authentications and many more. Qualcomm TE has a small code base which is rigorously reviewed certified with common criteria EAL2+, compliant with Federal Information Processing Standard FIPS 140-3 and Cryptographic Module Validation Program or CMVP, evaluated against software TE requirements and has a global platform API compliance. Trusted applications HLS client run in high-level OS where the trusted application executes in the user space of the Qualcomm TE. Platform software provides a global platform compliant communication path between the HLS client and trusted application to facilitate communication and message exchanges. Qualcomm TE supports a broad ecosystem of third-party trusted applications. With the Qualcomm TE SDK, our customers can develop their own trusted application with easy-to-use tools. Qualcomm TE SDK provides APIs which third-party trusted applications can use to access various trust zone security services such as storage security, cryptography, security frameworks such as peripheral security and more. Protected communication between the HLS client and trusted application is facilitated via the SMC Invoke transport layer. SMC Invoke interfaces are exposed to HLS client to communicate with the trusted application that is in the Qualcomm TE user space. For off-target development processes, Qualcomm TE SDK also provides Qualcomm TE emulator. Qualcomm TE SDK is licensed and available to registered users only. Qualcomm Wireless as Services or Qualcomm Wireless is a set of trusted services rooted on device hardware to help connect and manage devices in a security-rich way. Qualcomm West provides trusted device attestation service, zero touch device provisioning service, and chipset feature management services. These are licensed services, and it requires a unique per device Qualcomm West license to enable these services in device. Trusted device attestation provides on demand attestation service for chipset based identity, device authenticity, and connection integrity. It generates a cryptographically signed and encrypted device attestation report that describes the security state of the device and its software. This attestation report consists of the device's unique identifier, device state information, and optional customer data which is useful for risk engines and other similar applications. Zero Touch provisioning services enable the generation and use of cryptographic keys that are secured using the unique device keys. These keys are used to sign the data on the device as well as to provision the data or keys to device over the air. Feature licensing services enables the customer to manage features on end devices. These device features are enabled by installing the feature licenses or certificate on device. Qualcomm platforms facilitate both hardware-based 
on device user authentication as well as device attestation based authentication of device on the cloud. Qualcomm processor security enables development of hardware based on device user authentication mechanism such as pin screen, biometric authentication like fingerprint, iris scanner or face authentication which provides a strong hardware based authentication mechanism for identifying user on device. Whereas trusted device attestation, a hardware based Qualcomm wireless as service enables reliable device identification to the cloud servers or other third party backend by presenting device bound attestation report. These hardware based authentication mechanism are desired in a wide range of security use cases on IoT devices. For example, the soft post payment solution where authorization of payment could require two-step authentication, device based user authentication followed by device authentication by the relaying party. Qualcomm West framework running in Qualcomm TE facilitates hardware based device attestation aimed at giving a relaying party sufficient assurance that the device is trustworthy and the user authentication result is genuine. This is provided by device attestation reports which are generated in Qualcomm Trusted Education environment and incorporate the unique device identifiers, device security status and various other device health parameters as well as optional vendor identifiers or data. These attestation reports are device bound, cryptographically signed and encrypted by device bound unique device keys that describe the security status of the device and its software. This provides sufficient assurance of device trustworthiness to the remote cloud servers. Qualcomm provides software development kits for both device and cloud for easy integration and adoption of wireless edge services. This requires a Qualcomm OS service subscription. The cloud side Qualcomm OS SDK enables customers to develop their cloud side software application to invoke server side Qualcomm wireless edge services. The device side Qualcomm SDK enables customer HLOS client application to invoke on-device Qualcomm OS services. This requires an SDK activation license on the device. Detailed documentation and a sample application are provided with the SDK to expedite the development process. A comprehensive security checklist is crucial for ensuring the safety security of the system, data and network. This security checklist should fundamentally be guided by the intended device use cases their threat models and security requirements. The contents of the checklist will largely depend on the device use case. For example, devices that are designed as a secure payment solution will prioritize features such as secure display, secure touch and secure camera in addition to fundamental security requirements. Fundamental security requirements of any of these use cases include but are not limited to secure boot of the device, assured runtime, software integrity, safeguards against co-tampering, prevention of unauthorized access, protection of sensitive on-device data, safe firmware upgrade, and device lifecycle management. OEMs need to ensure that at a minimum, the following fundamental security features are functional. Platform secure boot, UFI secure boot is enabled, and invasive and non-invasive device debug is disabled. Storage encryption is enabled, Peripheral image loader is enabled and subsystem images are authenticated by Trust Zone before being loaded to the subsystem memory. HLOS to Qualcomm TE Transport Layer Lips, TE Mink or GPT APIs are available for HLOS client to use. Qualcomm TE based key management support is enabled. Linux, Mac and DAC is enabled. Access control hardware modules, extended protection units or XPU and SMU are enabled and running in enforce mode. Storage security modules, secure file system is enabled and uh, RPMP is provisioned. Random numbers are sampled from the QPRNG. This list is not exhaustive, rather it might change depending upon the type of device and its intended use case. 
we recommend that you assess the security requirement of your use case and prepare a security checklist for developing security rich products to take a deep dive into more security features its implementation and design please check out the resources in the description